What's up gamers? In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to get auto build super early in the game. Let's go. All right, so you came from the Sky Islands, you dropped down, you did the basic quest to start off, you visited the castle, then you came back and then they unlocked this watchtower here. So this is taking place right after they turn on this thing and this entire tower lights up and you're also given the paraglider. Once you get your paraglider from Pura, now you can do this method of getting the auto build very fast. I don't have it right now because I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it with me live. So open up your map by pressing the minus button. And once you press the minus button, you're going to D-pad up so it goes back to the sky. Once you are viewing that map, you're going to click on the In Isa Shrine by pressing A and you're gonna travel there because you can fast travel. And also, Lookout Tower, this area should be a fast travel point as well. Once you arrive at the In Isa Shrine right above, you're gonna be walking behind the shrine, just like this. Now, be very careful at this spot because you don't wanna fall off, but what you want to do is position yourself as close as possible, but not all the way. And what we're going to be doing is you're going to be opening up your pad, basically by pressing the right stick in, and that's going to open this up. And our target that we're going to is going to be right over there. You see that? So mark that up. I put my pin right there. And we're going to place ourselves in a position where we can fly off and get to that thing as simple as possible. So if you're a better flyer than me, go ahead and jump. And your goal basically is to get as close as possible to that. And this is actually the Great Plateau, which is where you started Breath of the Wild. But we're not going to be exploring the whole Great Plateau. We're just going to be going right to that spot here. So I'm going to do my best with kind of flying and controlling myself to get there. Hopefully I can do it properly in one easy shot. Let me know, by the way, if some of you are actually able to make it right from there into that. If you are, that is awesome. And uh, yeah, I, I need to know your secrets. That's crazy. All right, so I'm still going to be doing some little bit of gliding here. Okay, be careful here. Be careful there. Did I make it? Oh, we just made it. Oh, we just made it. Okay. <laughs> if you can't make it on this left side, you can probably hit that right side better. It's a lot easier and a little more closer to the skyline. But anyway, once you make it to here, you're just going to head to your mark. So if you can't see where it is again, make sure to press your D-pad. We're going to go over here. Let's head to this spot. There we go. Just jump over these. Boom. And now we have arrived. So when you approach it, it's going to say something that says Discovery Great Plateau East Chasm. And when you open up your map, you'll see a little symbol like this. This means you have discovered a chasm. There are a bunch of these all over the map, but this is the one that we're specifically going into. If you're grabbing auto build early, make sure to hit the subscribe button so we can get link to 500k to beat Ganondorf. All right, now you're ready to take the dive with the paraglider. If you have it, because you don't want to hit the bottom. You're going to see some blue flames as we get down here. Those blue flames are basically going to be people. I'm just kidding. They're not people. They are known as Poe's, so you're gonna to wanna to collect these things. I'm not gonna collect them now for the sake of the video, but now that I'm here, you're gonna look at these lights on the wall and head right towards that. Okay. Once you're here, take an arrow and attach a bright bloom seed to it. Uh, they have small ones or large ones, depending on if you pick some up. Uh, go ahead and shoot that. You should have these from the Sky Island. If not, you're just gonna head still in this direction. Then what you're gonna do is you're going to turn on the ultra hand and you're gonna bring this cart into here, which you guys should know from getting off the Sky Island how to do the basics of this. You're going to grab a fan over here. Take that fan, put it on the back of it. As long as it's on the back, you should be good. Then hop on the cart just like this and you're done with step one. And these monsters and rocks and taluses all missed out on getting us because we're just that good. All right, so hang on for the ride. We are going through this entire area. There we go. You can see more pose on the floor. Don't worry, you didn't fall to your death there. There is a rail track that drops you down and you should arrive at the Great Central Mine. All right, cool. Once you're at the Great Central Mine or the Great Abandoned Mine, I'm speaking wrong things. Great Abandoned Central Mine, that's the phrase. We're going to maybe if you want, you can shoot another another one over here just so you can see the area. You're going to come over here. You're going to climb up. So just climb right up there. So that's where I got off. I just walked up the steps and get to the top here. So you can see my minecarts right there. And I just directly went up right here. Then you're going to go up to the next platform just like this. And just like that, you're going to be 
at this spot here. And if you look to your right, there is a symbol there. And you're going to run right away to that symbol. And you have a little cave explorer guy looking at it and someone else looking like they're surveying the underground. And press examine. This will then interact with the floor, causing a teleport point to be here. So now you can you can fast travel down here. It should it should it should be activated. So you get this construct. It's moving, conferring auto build to authorizer. Now tells you some stuff here. And then all of a sudden you're going to get this little cutscene, and Link's opening up his nice green hand. There we go. And it's it, it's showing up. There we go. Boom. Congrats. You've got the basic auto build, but we're not done yet because we got to get out of here. But here's auto build. It's now shown up. So instantly recreate your ultra hand projects using nearby items and zone eight auto build records your previous creations. So to give you a quick example while we're down here, and without, you know, pay attention because I don't want you guys to accidentally trigger a boss fight that's going to be happening here. So I'm going to tell you exactly where to stop and if you're brave enough, where to continue. So it's going to go through these entire things with these guys. You can read these dialogues for yourself when you're here. Basically, these researchers are like, oh, we have two of our cars. We need you to fix them. Pretty much bada bing, bada boom. Now that you have ultra build, you're now going to use your hand and build this vehicle. So just click a grab on it and uh, twist it. There you go. It's on a plane. I, I, I play this for a lot of hours and I'm still confused. <laughs> there we go. And put it there just like that. So once you create something, it's going to register in your history that you've done it. So, for example, if I don't use my auto build power on that here, I'll show you. Let me move a little bit away. And then let me grab auto build. It's going to show this in my history. Right, and if I click on this history right here, it's going to say that it cost me 15 Zonite to build, which is the rocks that you find out here. Now, if I approach the vehicle, watch this reduce. Because I have the parts available, it's not going to cost me anything to build. Now, if I hit A, it's going to trigger a cutscene, which is going to cause a boss fight. I'm not going to spoil it, so I will not build it. But if you do beat that fight, the construct will give you something called a schema stone. And that schema stone basically is going to have these pre-built stuff. And all over the underground, they're going to have basically blueprints that show you already pre-built stuff. But you can also select and favorite stuff that you built so that you can build them again and again. And once you have auto build, you're pretty much done here. Now, the cool part is this is a teleport point, so you can come back here anytime. Just D-pad up to go back to the surface, head back to lookout tower and now you can continue the game with all the abilities unlocked and just like that look at that that's gonna make your traveling a lot better as you unlock all these parts so if you found auto building helpful make sure to hit subscribe but you gotta check out this video over here because this one's gonna be just as insane